Hello guys, happy to be back. Uh, uh, we are now on an Ethernet connection, which means that uh, I won't have any stream dropouts. So we'll see how we go with that. And yeah, a little announcement. We now have a, oh yeah, and it took some adjusting too because I didn't realize this has to press the live button on the YouTube thing as well. But now we know and we can adjust for that. Uh, but yes, there is now Discord. Uh, just have a click at the link in the description. That's where I'm going to be, you know, jumping on to talk to people when I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit sad and lonely. Um, or just feel like hanging out with people and working with other people because I find myself more productive in a group environment. So yeah, um, I've been doing in 25 minute sprints then five minute breaks because yeah, some of you guys know about my health issues but anyway let's jump in and I'm excited to talk about my code today uh, it was uh, it's a better version of what I did last time and yeah let's jump into it and see what that mm, sorry what that looks like all right so jumping in here um, at the so when this uh, so when the game starts it actually calculate um, it collects the information of the uh, four flip books I've got here. So we've got the cherry, the chocolate, the jelly beans, and the ice cream, and then that puts it into an array. So that's something that collects information, and then um, then this gets called, which is the set background. So um, my fi my pet fish is getting really excited. Um, yeah, and so from here we have two different ways of going about things. So just following this white line. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! All right, so it's a good thing I noticed that because this is a pretty bad uh, <laughs> sort of broken my code. All right, so if the sprite color is less than one, then we need to do that. All right, so what I just fixed up um, was a thing. All right, let's talk this through. Uh, so from here, from the array, we grab the number of the background type that we're switching to. So through there, um, we are grabbing the information of that background. We're going for the alpha, which is the transparency. And then if it is less than one, uh, then what it's going to do is it's going to do a timeline, which is something that happens over time. And it will set the new sprite color to, um, it will increase the sprite color until it is one. And then, yeah then it'll stop um, and yeah it would it will be changing the background um, and then once that's done we're gonna go follow the other one so the old background it will save the previous background as the old background and then it will uh, do the same thing except it would uh, it will make it transparent so we're grabbing the new one and we're fully zoning that one in before we zone the other one in. Zone the other one out. So hopefully this should work. And let's just jump in and make that happen. Hopefully. Um, let's just check when we're changing the background. So I'm just going to go into player. Karoot. <laughs> just having a little silly. It's been a, it's been a crazy time. All right. So I also found out about this snazzy little bit. I gotta tell some of my programming friends. You can actually grab an asset from anywhere if you're selecting the object. And yeah, you can cast to anything now. Yay! So casting is when you're telling something else uh, how and what to do stuff, how to do something somewhere else. All right, so I'm pretty sure the background change. Nope, it's in the functions. Next wave. There we go. Yep, so what this does is it grabs the next difficulty, sets the wave count back to one, and then sh changes the ba uh, background type. Uh, wait, it sets the background type first, so the current one to the old one, and then sets the new one to your random value. So when is that happening? All right, so I'm just gonna go right click here and find references. So this will tell me Uh -huh. All right. I'm not entirely sure when it's a... Uh... Huh. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into this event graph. And 
and I'm going to try I'm going to try this um, thing that I just found and then next wave and hopefully I should just be able to do that so what it's doing right now is it's actually telling the background to generate uh, the uh, wait no it hasn't it, so we have now called that uh, called that actor and we're now going to tell it what to do so if this works, I'm gonna be pretty. I'm gonna be pretty over the moon. All right, let's just compile it first. Make sure it doesn't break itself. Oh hey, it's a thing. All right, so we're gonna be playing from the intro. So yep, from the intro, and then that's gonna go into this one. Yep, cool, cool, cool. All right, so that would require me to um to to kind of delete my save just so we can see if this actually works. Uh, but that's not an issue. Um, usual warning that I, you know, put forward for anyone dropping by the first time. Um, my laptop isn't great, uh, so I will be playing at one third of the speed. That's how I found out that the build itself is like three times the speed when I shipped it. So let's go in and just turn our music off. So, you know, you guys aren't bothered by that. And where is it? We're going to press the play button. Oh, sweet Jesus. It there we go. Oh wait, no, that doesn't help anyone. Let me just go over to my little, this little thing, and we're going to pause the music for a second. There we go. Um, oh, that's not helpful. Give me a second. I have, I have screens, so many screens. There we go. All right, so we have our lovely chocolate background, which uh, is not meant to be that, but we'll figure that out. Let's press start. I don't know if you can hear my really horrible music. Oh wait, no, hold on. That's not meant to happen. Sorry, I forgot to reset my save. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Can I turn it up any higher? Oh, that's as loud as it goes. Sorry guys. Um, I, I promise it's not as uh, quiet and not obnoxious. All right, so we're gonna go again to the gameplay, delete save. Yes, I am sure. All right, let's uh let's do this. I've got to add a back button for. Okay, so it's meant to do that. All right, that's fine. Let's go correct collect our little corn cob. There we go. <laughs> Hurry up the level a little bit. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna say it's always so awkward because I'm just like I just want to test. Why are why are you being difficult? So, yep, there we go. Ah, this is uh this is not right. I really suck at this game. <laughs> it's funny cuz like I can design games. I just can't play them. There we go. Oh, sweet Jesus, this one is fast. Oh, lordy. This is going to go badly for me. I'm not going to make it past level 1. <laughs> Give me corn. There we go. I think we're just going to play it safe and only shoot one of them this time. Getting a sick score though. <laughs> oh hey Tana, happy to see you here. It won't be, there won't be any awkward uh, cutouts this time because I have set up my ethernet, which was a pain to set up, but I am happy I did so. And these little things are bombs, I'm just going to go, there we go. Oh no! I swear these things move faster than me. There we go. What is going on? Okay, I'm running low on ammo, guys. This isn't good. <laughs> it's a bad time. All right. There we go. <laughs> We're slowly replenishing our supply. There we go. Okay, so from that, I kind of got the vibe that um, the background did not change. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're not going to try that again, but what I am going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to add a little testing script here, so, uh, print, print string, and so this will come up as a development only, so when you ship your game, it actually won't come up in the development bit, but it's actually going to, uh, return the background and let me know it's actually being called, so hopefully that'll be a thing. Um, if all else fails, I'm just going to run this twice. So this is a uh, switching on the integer and it's just keeping that as one and two. All right, let's, let's try this again. 
Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I've got no idea what's going on. Um, besides the fact that... Okay, it's still chocolate. That's good. Alright, so we're back at the beginning. We're now, we're now running the intro. Where I, my, where I introduce all my lovely gummy bits. Wait. There we go. <laughs> I'm happy that I'm still having fun like playing my own game. Or maybe I'm just in a good mood. I don't know what's going on, but I'm having a great time. All right, come on, go. Faster. I mean, I kind of want to nudge it, but I don't want to like, I just realized my screen is off by a little bit. You see those like little pink lines on the side? Now it's going to get to me for the rest of the time. I might be tempted to go and fix that later. Oh, sweet Jesus. There we go. Um. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but there wasn't a back background change. So I'm going to close this and I am going to have a think about what's going on um, because I'm not liking it. Um, but first of all, why don't we start by um, saying the background, uh, Chew Cherry. So I'm not sure why it's not, why it's starting as chocolate. I think that's the first thing we need to solve because uh, that's not good. That's not what I want. All right, so game mode, branch, if less. Yep, play rate, change sprite color. So I, oh, let's let's turn our music back on now that we're gonna, now that we're, gonna, we're done doing the thing. The thing. All right. I mean, why does that feel so loud? There we go. Uh, yeah, so from my point of view, um, it looks like it's making the chocolate happen straight away, even though the default is the cherry. So I'm having a think. All right, so I'm going to disconnect the chocolate and see what happens. Uh, see if we come up with our little... Okay, it's still chocolate. All right, let's see what's going on here because this is... Hold on, that's not right. That's the that's the background. Okay, so okay. Uh, let's just have a look at what's causing that. So the reason that's happened is because I've put the. What is going on here? There's three of them. All right, so. To explain what's going on, even 2D games are actually put in a 3D space. So what you'll actually find a lot of the time is that if there's a foreground, what? <laughs> okay, so I may have figured out what went wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the thing that I'm finding going wrong here is uh, th there seems to be like two two shapes in there. Uh, which is not ideal. So I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to delete this. We want the background here. So it looks like if I go into the background, into the viewport. Okay, that's probably why we have the chocolate on full time, I think. Okay, so depending on the... <laughs> that's great. Um, now we know. <laughs> Um, I'm honestly having, having just a moment of, um, WTF, honestly. Uh, so, right, to explain. Um, so a lot of games have a foreground, uh, mid-ground where the player plays and a background. Uh, and the reason why that's used a lot of the time is to create the sense of depth and movement called parallax. So that's the visual, that's the visual, uh, thing where things closer to you move faster and things further away uh, move further so that's why you've got bushes you know kind of really passing you by in the foreground and mountains just kind of slowly drifting off in the background uh, that's called parallax all right now that we know that this is a thing let's go and fix it um, consider me shocked and yeah, so um, I think I need to go in and set the default transparency to zero because that's that's what's going on. Um, <laughs> wild. All right, let's go into the background. What's this? That's the background. Okay, let's put that there. 
and attach everything to to the uh that uh. <laughs> all right so for some reason it's not letting me do this properly okay we're going to attach no why is this being difficult all right attach attach and attach there we go so now everything is on the same place uh let's just arrange this according to you know how things are done no all right so i'm just gonna live with that all right so i'm gonna start with an rgb of zero uh the alpha value of zero and go in and do the same thing for everything else because the only thing that should be starting as an alpha of one is the cherry so now that should hopefully be a thing because what our code was like trying to process logically was that um thanks brain any day now uh was that the uh it was only going to dampen the old uh background but if all of them are already at one there was no there was there's like nothing to like dampen and it only select the old background but let's go in here it was probably doing everything right and i'm i'm the problem here Let's go in and fix that. Let's see if that worked. <laughs> All right. All right. That's no news yet. <gasps> Yay! I'm so happy. It did the thing. All right. Let's, let's, oh, there we go. Let's go in and see if it changes. I really miss the cherries now that I think about it. Oh, hey. And because it's not, hey, it's moving so much faster. You guys seeing this? Woo. You can't get me. I'm too fast. <laughs> oh, damn. My game is now running properly. Well, as you know, as properly as it can. All right. There we go. That's happening. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot the music in the background. You guys are just going to have to deal with like this little whiny do 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 do. Oh. Okay. All right, well, uh, <laughs> I'm just, oh, wait, hold on. I know what's happened. Oh, sweet Jesus. I forgot to say uh, delete my save again because it's, you know what? Like, why don't we just, why don't we just uh, change that? So I am going to copy paste this code um, because it's the exact same thing practically. And I am going to put this in here. I wouldn't recommend copy pasting code across classes because different things are like across like entirely different things. Like I can't paste it, he paste it in here, for example, because it's going to do weird stuff. But hey, um, let's let's give this another go and see what happens. All right. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. So this way I won't have to um I won't have to delete my save every single time. Oh my god, you saw the word of the day. Oh, Digimon. I gotta say I was definitely on the Digimon side of the Digimon Pokemon thing. Um yeah. I can't say can't say uh I don't know. I just liked how unique they were and I like with Pokemon you just go out and capture it while I don't know, and force them to fight while the other ones kind of deal dealt with like kind of world ending issues in in our world so i think i related to that more so now my my computer is really slow i don't know what's going on so yeah <laughs> that's fine i know the build works at this speed so uh yeah i don't know i oh sweet jesus i i i wonder how that franchise is doing now because i know that like i need to there we go so if anyone sees the background, oh no, and if anyone sees the background, uh, you know, doing a thing. Okay, so the background should have changed, but it didn't. Ah, oh my God. Oh, did someone just see a flash? I think the background just changed. I'm not sure. It didn't, unless it selected the, oh, sweet. No, that, oh, this is not going well. Yes, I got a health refill, which is a toothpaste, which you guys don't normally get to see. All right, so. I'm thinking that maybe. <laughs> oh, it was so close. 
Okay, I'm thinking that maybe uh, the background still isn't functioning properly. And that is a-okay. We will figure out why in a second after we wait for these little cherry chunks to work. Um, yeah, all right. So now we kind of have a better idea of uh, what the issue was in terms of uh, how everything whoa, was layered. <laughs> So now we can adjust for that. Wait, what's going on? I'm stuck in a loop of uh, loop of game. Did I accidentally do like an endless mode? I'm highly concerned now. Uh, yeah. And also they had much uh, creepier designs because all the Pokemon ones were kind of like round and kitty. Meanwhile, the other ones... They just had a cooler design, a lot more edges, actually. Come on. Will this game ever end? I'm pretty sure I'm stuck in a forever game loop. Hey, they changed. It changed for a second. You guys see that? It changed for a second. It happened. I saw it. It did the... Hold on. What did it change from? <laughs> It seems to be changing between, like, the light pink and the other pink. Okay, so... I'm not sure. And now I'm stuck. Alright. Oh, actually, let's... There we go, restart game. Back to game. Oh, hey! That worked. This is much better for testing. I completely forgot this was a thing. All right, let's let's uh. All right, so. I'm glad I added that feature. I completely forgot about it. All right, so. I have a feeling that it's changing, but I'm not seeing it, and I feel kind of crazy. Okay, let's just let's just help that along. So that's uh, another one. And then the next one should be the end of the wave. Oh, yay! More Discord people! Alright, so... There we go. So that's where UI input mode, UI only expect a valid controller is play controller target. I've got no idea where this is coming from. Alright. Let's see. So the the set UI. Oh, okay. So I think that's when we were playing the pause button and it actually uh, faded out for a second or like, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> All right. But it didn't, it didn't let us know. Oh, actually, I should probably change that. Um, so instead of print string, we're going to go... Print to screen, duration, 10 seconds. So let's just make it 10 seconds. Uh, make it like a really nice bright orange that's going to stick out. And we're going to go back. BG changed. So it's going to, you know, I can actually see it. Yeah, I guess like if you can't relate to any of the characters, then it's really hard because there is such a narrow gap. So I guess that's where it, it kind of also fell apart. As, it, as with Pokemon, like there are like, 300 Pokemon and you can make your own. So I kind of I kind of get the psychology of that. All right. <laughs> Let's jump back into it and see what happens. Oh, now it's running fast again. I've got no answers why. I love the portals though. The portals are working as intended, mostly. I think that one just committed suicide. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yes. Okay. We have a we have a suicidal candy on our hands. I also need to make the uh, make the make the portals appear in two fewer places. All right. All right. So we're waiting for a message to come up to let us know when the uh, background has been changed. If the background has been changed. And if not, that is a logical error on my part, and I apologize. This is a learning experience for everyone. What is going on? Oh, sweet Jesus. It 
any day now. Okay, so I think there has been a wave change because, uh... Oh, God, these ones. You know what? I'm just gonna... Yep. Ha! Huh, I got you this time. Oh, goodness. And yeah, I've still got to think of boss monsters for these things. Like, one of the ones that I want is like a giant hard candy that keeps breaking. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I, uh, I know which one you mean. It's the main character's one, which was like this little, this little, uh... Are we stuck? We're stuck. Alright, we know what to do. Restart game. Let's do it. Alright, I still haven't seen that message though. It should have lasted 10 seconds. Which one's Beyblade? Uh, is it... I don't know. Like, uh, forgive my obvious uh, lack of culture, but I think it's got something to do with swords. <laughs> um, or blades of some sort. Um, I know there's Bakugan, which is the one where you pull, you pull like a little motor thing and then it would spin. I'm only vaguely aware of what... what what are, what are kids into these days? Alright, so I saw a s jump change. Okay, but I didn't get an alert that something changed, so I think there might be something going on. Oh, come on. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't... I wasn't Oh yeah, to clarify, there's like a 15 delay, 15 second delay on the stream, so it's not that I'm ignoring you, I just don't get the chats until much, uh, don't get to, like, respond to them until much later. I am very much paying attention. Oh, right, okay, so Beyblade was a spinning one. What, what was Bakugan then? <laughs> I've got, I've got no idea. <laughs> Alright. So, I played this game quite a fair bit, and I'm still not seeing any change, um, so I'm having a you guys are getting to see all the gameplay footage. Um, seriously though, like, why isn't this working? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Goodbye. Goodbye, wasted ammo. Okay, yeah, I definitely would have changed by now. I, I, I'm not here for a score attack. I'm just trying to see if my game works. Alright, so the same thing came up again, so I have a feeling that it's actually got to do with uh, this background object. So, because it's a UI element, it's actually not going to take input from there. So, I've got to think of uh, another way to address this. So, in the event graph, uh, set BG. Alright, so I'm wondering from when, from where I do that. So, let's head over to what we can do in the... Oh, okay. Okay, so it was, it was like cool marbles. I got you. I got you. Um, <laughs> um, Ryder, uh, let me let me think. So we're going to go into our ship game mode and see if we can actually call a function in here. Uh, because we do have like the diagnosis thing and then we've got the reset scores. So I'm sure there's something that we can do to it, to kind of do a thing. The menu reference. That's another one. So I assume that's down here, menu reference. I think so. I think there's going to be like a... Uh, there's definitely going to be like a warning label. Oh wait, hold on. Why why, why are these in here? Alright, so that was when I was testing stuff out. I'm just going to delete. Delete. And delete. And we're going to add a... Huh. So what's going on here is that I actually have to create the game display, which is the the um Oh wait, that's a menu ref. Okay. I could just uh Alright, so we have a new solution to how we're going to do this. I'm actually going to go delete this. And this is gonna get really weird, guys. Um Oh wait, hold on. What's going on here? Okay, so for some reason I put this in here. Consider me confused. 
festival. Um, and yeah, maybe crack attack. No, not crack attack. That just sounds like a drug thing. Um, I, I've got to think of uh, unique names for the bosses, but I agree with you. They should have unique names. All right. So for some reason, <laughs> for some ungodly reason, I have decided to slip this little bit of code in here. Uh, so this is setting a random value on the ship game mode. We don't want to do that here. Um, or maybe we do. Maybe I do. All right. So I'm going to go, oh wait, no, the background is different to the menu. Mm. Okay. I think we're going to have to extend this doohickey right here. So instead of creating the background, instead of instead of uh, having the background already there, we're actually going to generate it during the setup of the game. So I'm going to grab these doohickeys and paste them here. And that way, oh wait, this isn't a widget though. It's a, it's a actor. All right. So Wait, I used to I used a really bad off brand version of this software in high school. Oh no. Yeah, no. Um No, it's it's this is actually used by high end game companies. Epic Games uh, made it and uh yeah. I'm very grateful that it exists and for free, so people can effectively train themselves. Um, let me think for a second. So what we're trying to achieve here at the moment, right now is communicating to this actor. So I'm going to do something wild and I'm going to just delete this. Okay, that felt weird. All right, so we're going to spawn AI from class and we're going to, oh, uh, we're going to go background and we're going to put it in Oh, I wish I didn't delete that now. <laughs> All right. Where was it? Oh, wow. I'm not sure why it's doing that. So negative 1000. I can, I can work with that. All right. So now we're going to go into back into here and we're going to put it at negative 1000 and X. And from there, it's going, we're going to set it as we're going to make a reference to it. So whatever changes we make to that, uh, we can then go through there. So I'm going to go, uh, we're going to create a new value. Um, I'm going to create an integer uh, variable. And then from there, we're going to go property reference. And this will be background ref. Oh my goodness. All right. So hopefully if I just slap this in there, we can set it based on this. Oh no. All right. So pawn object reference. All right. So now we know what we need to change this to. So I'm going to go pawn object. Oh no. <laughs> right. There we go. So pawn change variable type. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's fine. We're all good. So that should now go into there and any kind of uh, reference that we can make to that, we can actually go and change in other software. So let's try this. Let's pray. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't pray. All right, let's go into here. And then from here, we should be able to uh, cast to cast a background. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm just not reading it right now. So we're uh, casting to ship game mode. Like if, if an expert comes on and says, no, this is horrible. I will be so happy just, just to know that, you know, there's a better way. Oh wait, game mode. And then a ship game mode, get background ref. And then we can actually get to do the thing. So this is a bit of a messy way to do it. I'm not very proud of this, but I don't know a better way. And then we're gonna set BG. Look at that, 
hopefully that works. Um, and then there isn't really an output that we can go, but what we can do is we can do that print string that I was mentioning before. And let's just do our little edits that we made last time. Except I'm going to put a little explanation mark at the end because this will be changed. Yay! <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I've been tried. I forgot to change my face. Let's change my face. <laughs> All right, and we want it to be a nice bright orange to stand out on that dark blue background or yellow. Um, yeah. So, and we want it there for ten seconds. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, that was done through the ship game mode. What have I done? <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. That's because we don't do it through the thing. All right, so we're going to do the same thing that we did in the other place. Okay, so... <laughs> I, I've done something horrible. All right, background property. I think the reason is because I didn't compile this. All right, so this should now work. Yes, there we go. We got one thing working. And that's not meant to... Okay. So, I broke some of my code. <laughs> and we're actually going to remove this... Wait, what's going on? We need to connect that together. There we go. Alright, so... That's another thing that would have been breaking other things. So, what this is doing now is checking for the ship game mode and in that case we want to go into the event graph and actually take this whole section out because we're we're yeah cool we don't need this anymore we're actually going to put this into the why can't i delete you <laughs> what's going on now <laughs> okay so i'm going to delete this and that should hopefully fix it. And then I'm going to go and... Oh wait, no, I need that. <laughs> We're going to... Uh, break link. Just, just break everything. There we go. There we go. This, this will now fix everything, hopefully. Yes, it has now fixed everything. And we're actually going to go in and move this section into the other section so we won't need any of this what's going on why why is this locked sweet jesus i have no words <laughs> all right so is this one of those things where i have to close and reopen it i bet it's one of those things all right Hey, okay, cool. We just had to close it and reopen it. All right, so we're going to delete this and we're going to go over to the next wave script and we're going to move all of this up because that's where all the information is. So just like before, we're going to be grabbing... We're going to be grabbing... Hey! <laughs> the, the... What is it? The background reference. So background... So we're going to grab the background reference and then we're going to use that to, there we go, cast a background. And then that's the one with all this information regarding to the old background type. And so we're going to go here and then as background. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's, that's, we, we've got this. All right. So we need to get the background type. Oh no! Was it was it all done by the ship game mode? Oh no! That's not great. That's all right. All right. So we're actually going to move the entire thing here. So that means we need to grab the variables. So I'm going to change that to background type. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just be there more regularly, so if you just want to hang out, I might do some streams of, you know, gameplay. There's a variety of things that I can do there, um, in terms of, what am I thinking? 
There we go. Yep, change variable type. It's going to come up that scary menu that does things. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I should have been saving. <laughs> Alright, um, send and restart. Now I am sad. <laughs> now I am sad. <laughs> it has crashed. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Say hello to my notes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, and then recommendation from you guys. I just want to spend more time with you because I only get like one hour of streaming with you guys or less as you've seen. And I'm just not a fan of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Restore selected. I know you can't, but I'm going to ask anyway. Alright, so hopefully we didn't lose too much. What a, what a horrible thing to happen. Alright. So hopefully... Okay, we didn't actually lose that much. So, as ship game mode, what we want to be good doing. Um, there we go. We just know how to do it faster this time. So, we're going to grab the background reference. And then from there, we're going to... Alright, that's what we were working on. Let's go over to the... The background. There we go. And then that's what we were doing last time. Alright, so we're going to set this to a integer. There we go. And then we're going to say new BG. And then we're going to set the old BG. Alright, cool. That, that should fix our Actually, no, I should be staying staying constant. All right, so BG old and BG new. There we go. Uh, yeah, so it just it just spend more time with you guys in a more casual setting where I'm not under the pressure to perform, so to say. And, you know, we can just share, share what we've been working on and stuff like that. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Um, that's very interesting. Okay. Get this is this is a uh, cool. <laughs> All right, so because I moved everything into here to to handle itself, I've got to move all this around, which is fine. I just wasn't expecting it. All right, so um, let's just change this, bring this in here, get, get. And so what we've done is we've made this script a lot more efficient, I guess, by deleting that other stuff. And so now that we've got here, we're going to go over to this event graph and cast to background. And we're going to... Oh, sweet Jesus, it's turning into a mess. The spaghetti is tangling. I repeat, the spaghetti is tangling. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah, it's just it's just to be more available, because I'm having my... I, I'm, I'm getting healthier as a person, and uh, somehow social needs now exist. So I just, you know, I want to spend more time with you guys and start that community up, and... Who knows, maybe there'll be events. I don't know if I'll do giveaways or not, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we're gonna get new BG. Oh wait, no, we want to new BG is now the old BG. And uh as the background. Oh sweet Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Set old BG said BG old excellent and then we want the set new BG all right and that's going to be random integer and then we want to be 
And then after that, <laughs> we want to be uh, set. Uh, then we're going to be running this set background, right? There we go. There we go. And there we go. All right, so that should hopefully fix everything that I've got going on. Um, sweet Jesus. Um, but except we want to be doing a reroute node along the top here so that we can kind of see that this is a thing. And that's just all to do with our keeping our code neat. Excellent. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be a lot more efficient than going through everything else every time. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of a workaround. Now, let's see how that works. Hopefully, we shouldn't get any errors regarding um, casting and that not going well. I don't know why it went full screen that time. Oh, God. What's going on here? Can I... Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> um, all right. So, I have... I think I know why that happened. We just need to go into the ship game mode. Because if you remember, we had that weird disconnect. There it is. There it is. Let's Let's just pop that back in there. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, there's cute little things like wholesome memes and we've got a very supportive community. So if you just want to post something that you're proud of that, you know, was pretty hard to do, um, even if it was like because it was physically difficult or mentally difficult, I don't know. And we're there to celebrate with you, which is, I think, one of my favorite parts that, we, you know, like... Not everything is going to be easy for everyone. All right, so <laughs> I want to know why that chocolate is just kind of creeping in on the side there. Why? <laughs> All right, that's okay. We'll find out. Oh, God. Okay. Ah, <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> All right. I have an idea. All right, so the target is the background, yes. Okay, so... Oh, right, yep. Okay, so that's why. We forgot to... I forgot to fix that up. All right, cool. That should make everything less... Um, less uh, epilepsy-inducing. All right, come on, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, I apologize to anyone who would have had problems. Okay, that's still happening. Okay, so I'm supposing that the new background is the, the okay. No, I, I'm not sure what the back, okay. It's, it's it's set to one of those two. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. All right, so the background old is uh, by default set to zero, I think. And it's set to one. All right, so this is trying to do the set background thing. And I'm not sure it knows what it's supposed to do. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that's that's actually... Uh, thank you for being my test subject. Uh, I am happy nothing bad happened to you. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine? Hi, death by stream. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be the person responsible for that. Alright, so it looks like I'm having a logical error where it's trying to set the background. Uh, so, I'm just going to go into my viewport, and I see that I'm still having this issue. Oh, why is this back here? Alright, so first of all, we're going to do that. Oh, that's what happened. Alright, so, that's a chocolate, and then the jelly beans come next. And then the ice cream. Cool, and I got them in the right order. Um, cool, so there's that. And now we're going to go in and set the everything to zero here. Jelly beans, chocolate. All right, so that should that should fix the problem again. <laughs> again, again. Um, 
Yeah, because I had that say a crash and it didn't save anything. All right, so hopefully no more. I don't know why the background in the oh wait no that's cherries that's I think that's normal on that left here. There's something weird. All right. Please change like you're supposed to, not just spaz out. All right, it's supposed to change after this one. No, okay, after this one. No, it definitely was meant to change before. There is every chance that it just happened to select zero. Oh no. Okay. Pause. Restart game. Oh no. Okay, so the game is actually beyond help. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? Um, There we go. Expects a valid controller as a player controller target. Okay, so I think that's some from somewhere else. Uh, look, um, I think I've had all I can of this project. I will continue trying to fix this and updating you on how I how I do that. I'm probably gonna friend get a friend to look at it as well because I'm I don't know, I have no words. <laughs> all right, so yeah, uh, I look forward to updating this uh for you guys. I'm just gonna I still don't have an end screen for some reason, so I'm just gonna let you know I'm taking a breather. And I am going to go eat and try to figure this out. I hope to see all of you guys on my Discord where I'm going to be on a lot more. Um, yeah, and, you know, actually getting to know you guys, what you're working on, uh, what, what you're thinking about, what you want to achieve that week. Like, let's, let's, let's get those things going. Woo! All right, um, I'll call it a day and I'm 